Good morning everybody. I'm uh, on a few minutes early so I'll just wait a few minutes to um, see if anyone gets my notification and uh, hopefully some will jump on. If you do say hi. Um, let me know if this is your first time watching. Um, and if you're watching and where you're watching from that would be great I'd love to know where people are watching from and feel free to share it back on your um, on your page on your um, social media um, gets word out for what um, I'm doing so anyway, to get started, hopefully it's not too much noise in the background because I've got some people down the back of me who is having their backyard dug up. I seem to be striking everyone doing stuff in the yard lately. One side of me have had their yard dug up, put a pool in, now the bottom, I'm not sure what they're doing down there. But anyway, okay. So I introduce myself, my name's Rosalind, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the Ipswich area in Queensland, Australia. And I sell everything to do with card making. Um, stamps, adhesives, um, embossing folders, dimensionals, um, ink pads, just about everything you need for any card making or scrapbooking or paper craft. So, um, yes, so we'll get a start on this. So just a few things before I get into the card making. Um, weekly deals are happening up until the 28th of September every week. There are different specials and deals on if you um, keep a look out on my Facebook page uh, you will see um, I will put up each week what the weekly deals are so some um, good discounts on there happening okay let's move that out of the way the other thing that we have is our perfect partners um, so if you've got any of these stamp sets, you can now get the uh, dies for them. Uh, and you can save 10%. So if you, haven't, if you haven't got the dies, you can buy the dies now. Um, if you haven't and you want to buy the bundle, you can buy the bundle for and save 10%. So there's the Apple Blossom dies. Um... There's the fresh cut stem dies you can get now if you have the stamp sets or you can purchase the bundle. So say if you go on to um, my online store, you should find them in there. I just had to think for that one there. Um, there's the playful piggy dies you can get now, the tree trimming dies, the waterfall dies and the Yeti dies to go with those stamp sets or as I said you can buy the whole bundle um, and save 10% alrighty so that's happening at the moment too until the end of September which is not far away months are going fast another thing I like to mention is our clearance rack uh, you can shop and, and amazing deals and save up to 60% on some items that are retired or you can't get anymore. Um, so you can access that through my online store, um, which I'll leave a link to my bio. So Facebook will be at the top. And if you're watching this back on YouTube, it should be at the bottom somewhere down there. Uh, will be my bio, which will give you the link to my everything that you need, my online store, uh, my web page, um, and all those other bits and pieces. Okay. 
and of course I also have my rewards program which you can find at all the details on my website um, so for every $50 you spend with me so you have to you, I have to be your demonstrator um, you will get one token um, so that you've got to collect 10 tokens when you collect 10 tokens you then will you can put down what stamp set you want to receive and I will send it to you you will get a free stamp set now you have it has to be $50 that you spend before shipping of course and you earn one token so and separate orders aren't included so you can't do a 25 order today and then a 25 order tomorrow it has to be a $50 order one order okay so for every $50 so $100 you get two tokens and um, you just go to my website and print off this page and you keep just put your date you um, order number the amount before shipping and how many tokens um, and that that will let me know then I can go in and check because I'll have my records to put with what you've got um, on your orders so head on over to my website that link is in my bio too and of course is our catalogs our mini catalog until December and our 22-23 annual catalog so if you haven't got a demonstrator and you like a copy of these um, again go to my bio you'll see a link in there for catalogs go in there put in your details and I will pop these in the mail for you okay now let's get started on some fun stuff. I'm just going to put all this out of my way um, for the moment. Put that in there and I'll pop that out of there. Now today I'm going to do a couple of simple cards using some of our beautiful design series paper. One I'm using today is Hues of Happiness. Now it does come in a 12 by 12, uh, you get two designs of uh, each pattern. Now because I've already, I've cut mine down into 6 by 6 so it's a little easier to handle. So just quickly go through with some of these, there's flower patterns, there's another one. The same on the back. Um, let me see what else have we got here. It's another one. And there's another purpley with our purples. Some stars. So it's double sided on these. So you can mix and match them. There's another one. I think that one's the same. There's the purple. There's this one. Some beautiful colours and patterns. So yes, you get two of each design. I've just cut mine down into a 6x6 six six, um, for the reason of being a little bit easier. It's already cut. And I don't have to struggle with a 12 by 12 to try and, and um, cut. So with the card today, I'm going to be using the paper and I'm going to be using the Go to Greetings stamp set. Now, these are the two cards I'm making. This simple cards using the, the uh, designer series paper. Okay. I'm just going to be using different colours. That's all it is I'm going to do on these. Okay. So, I'll just pop them out of the way. And I'm just going to 
sort a couple things out here. It's my cardstock. Um, let me see. Let me see. Yes, I've done it that way. Okay. All my bits and pieces. So. I'm not going to be giving any measurements. Uh, if you would like the measurements to any of these, or both these cards, or either of these cards, um, please sign up to my email list, which is also in my bio, and I pop these in a newsletter at the end of the week with all with the measurements. Okay, so we'll get started. So we're just going to do this one first. I'm going to get my glue. These are just really quick. And glue this one down. Make sure I've got it up the right way. Um, It's okay, I'm just so it's the same length as my card base. I'm just gonna put that down with the glue. And everything you see me using here today is available on my online store or in my online store I should say. Okay, I've got a couple of bits of paper. Um so I'm gonna stamp on here and some memento black ink. Let's get my stamp out. There we go. We'll do a happy birthday again. Let's make sure I've got that straight. Okay. That. Ink it up. Hopefully you can do it without getting the halo on it looks like I'm doing quite good let's see how we go here there we go okay and what I'm gonna do is just move that out of the way I'm gonna put that on to a navy blue um, Night of Navy, I think it's called, not Navy Blue, a Night of Navy backing. Probably could cut that. I might cut that down a bit. Let's see if we can. I don't know if I can do it that way. Probably not. Um, should have brought out my little trimmer. I keep forgetting about my little glit trimmer. So I'm just going to cut this down. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. This is crafting. We don't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to glue that down on there like so. So I've got a border around my car, like that. And pop that out of the way. And I'll, um, I don't know, where would I put this? That's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. I'll be up there for something different. I'll put that on some dimensionals. Not sure I put it on the right side. Just going to use up some of these 
I've got all these bits and pieces of dimensionals everywhere that I um, need to use up. Yep, that should do. Put some glue on the other end, of course. That and I'll just pop that in there like that. Just a little bit further over, like so. Then I have a strip to put on the inside. I'm just going to put that down along there. Like so, just to put a bit of the outside in. Pop some glue. Make sure it's the right way around. And just lay that on the inside. Probably, depending if you don't cut it straight, you can just cut off what's hanging. Got a little bit hanging there, so I'll just grab my scissors. Okay, and well, of course, we'll put a little bit of dimension on it. I'm going to use the um, 21, 23 in colour opal rounds um, on these cards. Uh, I might take a pick tool. What ones can I use on there? I might use probably, probably the yellow. Maybe the pink ones will be better. So I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I'll put it at the top. I'll put three on. Hopefully they're in a straight line. There you go. You could put some another three down the bottom if you want to. Um, you probably could do that. I might do I might do three yellow ones. Pink one's annoying me because it's not straight. Uh, it's not sitting the right way. Oh dear. Just a bit of the putty from the. I'll fix that up later. Yeah, you know, just just to give it something. So there's our first first card. Okay, now our second one. This one this way, and it's much the same on this one um, so just crease that down All right. I just want to look at this one um, I don't know if I should do the stars that way or no that's for my inside yeah, I'll do it with the yellow. So I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight. And just make sure my card is the right way, yes. And I will glue that down. So our paper is, is just so beautiful that you can just make simple cards. 
simple easy cards that can look great and that's the thing about stamping up everything goes together it's it matches and it's just good you don't they take the thinking out for you let's trim that up okay and the same with this one I'm just going to glue it down you can use whatever adhesive if you want on these you don't have to um, use glue if you don't want and I'm just going to sit that up along that piece of yellow cardstock like so and as I said if you need trimming it's only a little bit but we'll trim it up so it's even with the bottom of the card okay oh. Got a pink one sitting there, I don't know how that's got on there, but anyway. Okay, so that's that one, and I'm going to lay a piece on the inside. So this is a small strip of what I've got on the outside to put on the inside. Same thing, just going to bump it up along the edge of the card check to see if this needs another tiny little bit taken off the end like so okay this one I'm going to use our double oval punch so I'm going to use the big one but I'm going to cut it um, twice I'll show you what I'm going to do in a sec I'll just ink up my ink pad again ink, my ink pad my stamp hopefully I can get it Stamp good. And what I'm going to do is bring my punch in. Line that up. So it's sort of middle. Yep. And cut that piece off. Oops. Take that stamp off, put that to the bottom, and oh, have to forgive me, it's gone off my head at the moment of what colour this cardstock is. <laughs> anyway, as I said, I will link it in my, put it in my newsletter at the end of the week. Okay, so I've got two of them that out of the way and what I'm going to do is just cut this in half like so and with this one I'm just going so it's giving it just that little bit of a backing on the back so I'm going to put a bit of glue There. depending on what your how big of a edging you want I'm just going to do it like so that will be enough I think and then I'll do the same with this piece for the other end Try and make 
that there fairly even I think that's looking good and then we'll bring our card over um, where will we put this one no, there maybe there up here hmm Might be a bit too high. Maybe there. Yeah, we might put it there. So I'll do the same. I'll put some more dimensionals on one end. Make sure I've got it on the right end. So, yep, we'll get them backing off. Put some glue on my other end here. You can put a ribbon on these if you want to. Um, totally up to you. I'm bringing them rhinestones again. And, ah oh dear, what will we put this time? I might put, um, we'll do some of the pink ones again. I'll put them at this end this time. So we do two big ones and a small one. Like so, and I might just do a couple of yellow ones up here. One on there. And a smaller one down here. This was something different. And there we go. There is our two simple cards using our beautiful paper. Um, you could probably never thought of this before. Let's try. You could put a bit of Winker Stella on your flowers. Give them a bit of sparkle. I'm just going to do it quickly. So they've all got some sparkle. Just spread it around to whatever you are comfortable on using. You could just do it on a couple if you want to. And there we go. I'll do this one quickly. I think I might need a new Wink of Stella too. This one looks like it's just about out. This will give a little bit more of a sparkle. There we go. Okay, so there we are. It's our two cards for today okay these are the two I did previous okay and there's our two for today just different designs on these same but just different color paper okay well, that's it for me today. Um, I hope everyone has a good rest of the week. And I sh should see you again next Tuesday at the same time about 10 o'clock. 
Okay, so until then, everyone stay safe and I will catch you next Tuesday same time. Bye for now.